Addressing a press conference, the Deputy Chief Executive in charge of operations at Cocoa Board, Dr. Emmanuel Opoku said, two strategic moves have been adopted by the regulator of the cocoa sector to halt the practice where farmers are shortchanged. Following a preliminary inspection tour of sheds, that is the LBC's sheds, led by the Chief Executive in 2018, Cocoa Board Management commissioned the Ghana Standards Authority to perform a thorough inspection of all weighing skills used at LBC's sheds. That's a, the, we are talking about the point of sale where the farmers deliver cocoa to sell to uh, the LBC's across the country. This was necessary to gather empirical evidence on the extent of the problem and to inform policy and strategic decisions. Based on the report from the Ghana Standards Authority, which found that the practice was systemic, Cocoa Board Management has settled on two solutions. One is a preventive reform measure, and the other is an immediate term punitive measure. The preventive or the, the reform or preventive measure involves the introduction of the Ghana Standards Authority recommended electronic sealable weighing skills, which meet a set of tamper-proof standards, so that scale adjustments will be a thing of the past. According to Cocoa Board, it has put in place a punitive measure to surcharge any defaulting LBC with the monetary equivalent of the aggregated weight from cocoa sheds across the country that the LBC in question may have shortchanged the unsuspecting farmers once the Ghana Standards Authority confirms adjustment of such weighing skills. Dr. Opoku added that Cocoa Board said the punitive actions will deter licensed buying companies engaged in the cheating to stop. Ghana Standards Authority, they, are, they have the mandate, uh, what they call the standards and um, weight and measures yeah, decree. So there are certain uh, sanctions that apply uh, to anyone who flouts th that decree. So before we put in place these measures, which I just mentioned or read to you, the Standards Authority had a mandate to do that. But at the time, they thought they were working with Cocoa Board. So when they, dis they, they discovered these anomalies, the cheating, our attention was drawn to the cheat the cheating which was ongoing. So we, we supported them to implement the sanction. That is why uh, the Standards Authority wrote to the LBC, uh, to the, the offending or the, the corporates uh, to, to pay some fines. For Cocoa Board, apart from the fine that the Standards Authority will charge you, we have what we call the regulations and uh, guidelines for for the internal marketing operations. If you receive the license to operate as an LBC, you are bound by those regulations and guidelines. So what happens is that if you flout any of the regulations, we have punitive sanctions that apply to the offending uh, company. And for scale adjustments, if it happens a certain, uh, when it is discovered, what we do is that we, we first warn you Again, we withdraw the operation, your operation in the, in the location where the adjustment happened. If it happens again, then before we can withdraw your license. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7 p.m. only on City TV.